Hey Ruth here, and this is Shout Out Sunday number 33. So, as always, thank you so much for uh, commenting and subscribing. And as I look at this now, because I forgot to look at it earlier, there is only when the thing loads, because. Okay, there is only two more subscribers until I hit the 450 mark for that to give way to an uh, end. So do check it out. I'll uh, put the uh, giveaway video link in the, you know, end card thing, so you can just click that. So, you know, just if you want to enter, you know, the follow directions in that video, and you're good to go. And after that, I've got a 500 giveaway already uh, video, already, uh, you know, made. But then we'll, you know, trudge along towards the uh, 500 when we get to it. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, I also do have a couple cards set aside for the giveaway after the 500. I'm not really sure what else to add to it or something. So far I've got two cards. One's a prism, another is... I can't remember what it was. Or there are, there are two prism cards. One's a Pokemon, one's an item card. Or stadium card. But anyway, um, never mind that. So, thank you everybody. It's, it does mean a lot and gets me excited when the sub count goes up. So, the first person on my shout out list is Pokey Card X. Thank you for always commenting. It's always nice you enjoy watching it or think it's good um yeah it's very nice of you and next one for this week or these past two weeks is surprise hunters so thank you and um haven't seen you for a while um so that's it for the uh, commenting or request no one requested a uh Shout out, so I didn't put anyone on because no one requested one. But, um, if you want to shout out, you know, comment down below if you want one and I'll put you up. Um, also, you know, comment at least twice, once on two separate videos, um, between now and in a fortnight <clears throat> when the next shout out video comes up. And, um, let's see, normally, let's see, actually, per one person I won from this week, or at least the video was up this past week, is Forever Collector. Check out their Instagram, very lovely, nice pictures and so on. And it's a very cool card, too. I mean, I don't have any tops that are PSA graded, which is awesome. It's very... Very nice card. Not really a Pokemon that I like, because I don't really do like many poison Pokemon, but anyway. It's very nice textured, you know, those old tops 2000 cards. Anyway, um, so yeah, go check out Forever Collector. And the next two people I bought from, but their videos won't be up until the 15th and the 17th, so it's a bit of a preemptive strike here, because I just put it on the list and I can't be able to take it off the list. So, Jay the Pokemon Lover sales, or, you know, I put both her main and her sales link below, as with everyone else's link is below too, by the way. You should, you should know that by now. I mean, this is video number 33. Um, I got a awesome uh, Pokey haul from her absolutely lovely person to buy from and to talk to and just you know awesome and since she's based in the u.s she offered to you know get me some u.s exclusive things because obviously here in the uk they don't come out here because like yeah the u.s gets everything or u.s and japan gets everything okay and the next person I bought from is Pincatchy. 
So I haven't bought pins in a while, but I couldn't resist because there weren't very many of these for sale. And luckily she had the B grades available. And yeah, so I managed to get that set, which was a lot. So yeah, I won't be buying pins for a while unless I absolutely have to have to have to have it. And if the postage is nice, because I think this postage was $5, $6. You know, it wasn't that, you know, high. So, I... I got it. Normally, if the postage is higher than the product, I don't buy it. Which is unfortunate, because some of the, mostly all the pins I like, are made by US people, and the postage is astronomical, and it's kind of a bit of a letdown, but it is what it is, I guess. So, look forward to those two videos when they come out so you can see what the pins and what the Poke Hall was. Because, like, awesome! And let's see, let's see. Okay, so do check out my Instagram, the sales page, which is in the link below, because I really need to sell some of the cards to help out with some other stuff I got going on. Because it'd be very, very helpful if you could have a look through that. Because on my Instagram, prices are very, I think they're very reasonable. If I put it up on eBay, the prices would go up a tiny bit, a little bit more than a tiny bit, and um, yeah, most of the prices I come up with are like an average-ish, in, in the middle-ish, between TCG Player and Troll and Toad. Those are when the prices I come up with for Instagram. If I put it on eBay, the prices will depend on what has been sold between other eBay listings. So the price would probably normally go up. Like, I'm, I've got, like, you know, loads of cards for sale. I've got some pins and coins. And, well, technically on my eBay, I do have other things for sale. Like, I've got a Minions plushie that I'm not sure why I got. I think it was in a lucky bag from a anime convention that I forgot to put on my sales list. I have no idea. But I also have some other cards, like my Yu-Gi-Oh bundle, the, the Spirit Warriors cards, that I'm selling for way less than what it's worth. So like, it's like a 70 pounds plus worth, but I'm selling it at l less, like, more than 20 or 30 pounds off, so. Um, yeah, I got some Harry Potter stuff up there. I got some, like, you know, other TCG stuff. Some not TCG stuff, like some other anime stuff. And I'm really selling myself here, aren't I? Anyway, that's basically it. There isn't really anything else to talk about. Um... Also below, if you want, like, my email, my address to, like, you know, send me letters or anything, just send me, ask me for it in the uh, email below, because that Gmail is, I made that for YouTube interactions and stuff, so, or if you just want to say hi or whatever, you can DM me on Instagram, because I check that more than I do Facebook, so. If you want to talk, I'm all ears. Um, not that I'm very social, because I'm, I just don't talk to people much. Which is probably why I don't actually really do a FaceTime on my videos. But also because I don't have another camera to actually do FaceTime, so. <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. Anyway, I've been, well, jabbering on for almost 10 minutes. So let's see, the last things are, I guess I was going to try the Zobi anime box. But when I try, even with the discount code, it still adds up to about 50 pounds. So I'm going to have to not do that, unfortunately. I was really looking forward to it, but I just... Can't, I don't spend 50 on a subscription box. Because, like, the, the subscription box alone was maybe, like, 
four, uh, it said like forty dollars, so like when it transferred me like thirty one ish pounds, but the postage itself was about twenty two ish dollars, or the other option was the sixty three dollar one, which is way no. But it still added up, so unfortunately I'm not going to try that. And though I do recommend you try it if you want to. The Zobi things website. Because, like, um, they do loads of autographed merchandise they sell there. And they do other subscription boxes as well, like a wrestling one, uh, culture, and whatever. So they do have loads of good autograph, officially autographed merch, which was originally why I was going to maybe try that subscription box, but I'm not doing a 50 pound subscription box, I just I draw the line there. I mean, I know my Wizarding World crate is like 39 to 40 pounds, so that's like cut off. I don't spend 50 on a subscription box. Because I don't have that kind of change to burn, so. Yeah, which is very unfortunate. So, I might do another ka So Kawaii box. Because that is free shipping, which is fantastic. And I did love the March stuff. I'm not going to do an April one because, obviously, they're finished. And I just didn't really, eh. Anyway, the, the April, uh, April, May, May, yes, the May a theme, um, not theme, but some of the, um, things in it, it's based on card chapters and Pokemon, I forgot what the other two was, I think it was Cinnamon Roll and something else, I forgot, but, uh, yeah, I might do that. I got time to thingy. There is also another one that was kind of interesting, which was the, uh, the Nihon box, which is basically the Japan box. And, like, the theme that's coming up is Dark Fantasy, which advertised Black Butler and Bleach, I think. But the page isn't loading fast enough, so I'm guessing here, staring at a blank page. Um, so I might do that. I don't know how much the postage is for that yet, so if it ends up too much, then I'll have to decline. Well, skip that trying. So far, for certain, the only, like, four definite subscription box I have going is the Wizarding World Crate. Um, so yeah, I need to find a Pokemon a good Pokemon, or a good anime, or a good something other subscription box to cover that section of my interests. <laughs> but, um... Oh yeah, the other thing for the dark fantasy is the Promised Neverland, which I've never seen and I've never been interested in watching. I've heard it around, but I just was never interested. So, like... Yeah, so it does look interesting. I mean, I don't really normally get Black Butler or Bleach stuff that I've come across before, so. Um, also, the long-awaited Junken Kuji uh, haul should be soon. I still have to pay for shipping first, but she's going to ship out soon. Well, after I pay for it. Which should be... Well, it is exciting. Especially with the amount of stuff I bought from her over the year. Well, from, bit, from last year to now. Which was a lot. I don't even want to know how much because I paid in bits. But, uh, yeah. Uh, and the custom is going to be totally astronomical, I think, again. Which will be total bummer, but... Yeah. Anyway. I have rambled on a ton, haven't I? Um, 
yeah so i'll just leave it at 15 minutes uh thank you for watching like subscribe for more uh ring the doorbell for notifications over and out